Also tonight, new surveillance video showing an assault during an illegal car meetup back in September. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Don Timoney. Hundreds of people crowding the streets in Gray's Ferry, property vandalized, and one person attacked. Police just releasing new video today. The suspects caught on camera hurling traffic cones, several armed with guns, threatening the victim. And Ellen, you heard from police. Why are they releasing the video now, two months later? Well, Don, a sergeant told me they were just making sure this video was as clear as possible. And now they're looking for three people, a woman and two men, all in their 20s, who they say assaulted an innocent neighbor just trying to protect her property. If you were at multiple locations, we're going to find you. Police say their efforts to crack down on illegal car meetups are working. So far, they've made 10 arrests and have confiscated 32 cars. But more work needs to be done after this video shows a 49-year-old woman on September 22nd, about 1.30 a.m. at 25th and Washington getting assaulted after police say she asked a mob to get off her parked car. During that, a confrontation happened where she was struck by a female in the back. During that confrontation, another male threw a traffic barrel, a, an orange traffic barrel, at her and hit her in the back and knocked her down. After that, police say another man pointed his gun at her, then fired in the air. She was bruised and shaken up, and now they're looking for three people seen on the video, a woman and two men, all in their 20s, and police say more arrests are coming. We've locked the promoters, we locked the people operating drones, we've locked the people actually doing the drifting. Uh, we still have 10 cars in custody, and if the judge allows us, we're, we'll be crushing those cars. So we're taking this very seriously. It's just a little ridiculous, like, you know, that they're doing this right now, you know, like, and it's very dangerous, and this guy's just, like, trying to look out for his property. Guys like Christian and Greg, who work in the area and saw the video, say they've seen enough. Usually people not from the city coming in here and causing up a whole bunch of trouble. Um, people are fed up with it, so someone has to put an end to it. Police say since the 11 car meetups on September 22nd, there have not been any more major ones anywhere in the city. So they believe their efforts are sending a clear message. Going to people's houses and pulling them out of bed, taking their cars, crushing their cars, and intercepting their Instagram. And if they monetize this in any way, we're going to go after their money. Go after the money and go after things that they say they can't even tell us about. They say they are cracking down. They are confident. They are making a lot of progress. But again, they need your help. If you recognize anybody in those videos or you have any information, please contact police immediately. We're live at police headquarters. Ellen Cloje, Fox 29 News. Back to you guys. Ellen, thank you. And